Hi everyone and welcome to episode 19 of Raising Junior. So in this episode we're going to cover the rear axle, so we're building it and putting it back together. However, I thought I'd bring you up to speed to where the project is currently. So right now the car is on its four wheels with the suspension in place and we're working on the wiring. So we took the original wiring harness and cleaned it up. We put the seats in place too to see the driving position. And here we have some spaghetti to connect in the right place. So we're figuring out uh, where every turn mill should go uh, to which electrical component. At the back we have the lights and reverse light too. So uh, we'll keep on checking the wiring as we go. I hear the car is sitting on its suspension on some temporary, um, on the original wheels, which are temporarily painted black. So the next stage is to start um, checking over the mechanical components. So the rear axle has been sitting here for a long time and it's been untouched. So it's still dirty as it was on the car. Um, now we're going to take it apart and clean the axle tubes and uh, disc backing plates as well as the main casing with some uh, brake cleaner. Since I never drove the car, I don't know what in condition it's in, uh, but at least the backlash on the pinion looks like it's a good sign. So it's quite smooth without any play. So after cleaning the main differential we started taking some components apart and we started with the hydraulic brake lines. As we're disassembling the axle, we're just going in the following stages. So we removed the brakes, discs and the calipers. Now we're going to uh, disassemble the uh, handbrake mechanism. And next, I started releasing um, these nuts that hold the axle together. Um, at least they weren't too hard as there was the grease, uh, just to watch out for the locking tabs. So we just need to flatten the locking tabs and then we can release this, these nuts. So now we could take the shaft apart and expose the differential and just to inspect the gears. So the pinion looks in great shape. And so does the differential gear.
So after cleaning all the components of the rear axle, it's time to put it back together. So we're going to use a special sealer um, on these faces here to seal the oil from coming out of the diff. So here we can see the surfaces are clean from any old sealer. Um, we just used a very fine blade and some thinner just to clean it off. And the order of assembly is the smaller shaft goes on this face first. And then we can put uh, the wheel shaft in and then the differential inside. After rebuilding the rear axle, it's almost ready to go in. So what we rebuilt was um, the brake calipers. We kept the original castings and renewed the rubbers and uh, added new pistons. We changed uh, the hard lines. We put new fittings over here. However, we kept the original T fittings here as they're a different thread. So this thread over here doesn't match the same one as the caliper. Um, so to make life easier, I just kept the original T fitting and the original um, threads. And also the new hard line on this side. We also cleaned the handbrake cables and handbrake mechanism. So the last thing that's left to do is top up with um, gear oil. And then we can assemble the axle in place. Thank you.